Okay, here we go. All right, that's my little friend there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's been actually um, about four week or five week or so since I bought this little fellow, and then it's. But I gotta say that it's been a wonderful uh, body for a couple of you know past few weeks, and um, I absolutely loved it. So basically, um, it's called a uh, Chilean rose tarantula, and as their name tells, they come from Chile. Um, because of that, they're pretty much used to temperature between, um, let's say, 80 to 95 Fahrenheit or something. Um, and um, although it had, it, it shouldn't be like very dry. The place, the in, inside of the cage, it should. You, you should still keep the um, soil kind of. Um, you know, moisturize and um, add a little bit of water um, every once in a while to it so the substrate stays, you know, kind of fresh, not really dry, which is not bad. It's not really good for him. So, um, basically, um, you know, tarantulas, they're pretty much divided, you can say, into two categories. The first category, they're kind of calm and um, very, um, uh, you know, douchile. And then this is this this is one of them. This is one kind. Chilean rose tarantulas are pretty famous because of their douchile nature, and then you know um, they can be absolutely perfect pets for you if if you're a first time um, you know uh, tarantula buyer. If you want to experience having a tarantula in your house, and then the second category would be based on um, you know uh, tarantulas or spiders that are kind of aggressive and fast. Um, such as, you know, um, Goliath the bird eater, or if you want to say would be Cobalt Blue, or Cobalt Blue, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, yeah, they're absolutely beautiful tarantulas, but then again, you know, if, if like for, uh, like how I am, I don't really have experience, uh, keeping tarantulas, so I decided to buy this little fellow here. Um, they usually eat, I don't know about all of them, but about the breed that I have, Chilean Rose Tarantulas, they eat between three to four times a week, and you don't really want to eat them more than that. Feed them more than that, because um, you know it's actually bad for them, and then they can explode. Um, this is basically the bigger version of um, how they look. Obviously, it's a close up, but um, you know, still just to give you guys an idea of how they look like. Um, they usually eat all kinds of insects. Um, I, you know, I, I, I give my tarantula, uh, you know, based like, you know, crickets and, um, that's the most simple one. I think it's a very common type that people feed their tarantulas or other kind of reptiles. Uh, they also eat, um, uh, male worms, um, cockroaches that I don't really, I'm not really keen on cockroaches because I'm still, you can say, a little bit afraid of them. But anyways, um... And locusts, um, yeah, they eat, they eat them as well. So, um, yeah, um, okay. So basically today I'm just going to show you guys a little documentary thing. Um, we got the victim here. As you can see, uh, there's a little cricket inside. And we're basically going to film our tarantula. So it's going to be a good actor tonight. Yeah. Um, Okay, Mr. Salmon, here we go. I'm just going to catch all of it so that you guys can see how they react. Or... Okay, we're going to release this little fellow here into the cage. As you can see, not really keen. <laughs> Doesn't really want to be eaten, but sorry, man. Okay. Oh. There's something happening. Yeah, that's right there. And Spider is still waiting for that. If I can just use my...
Oop, 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 oop. That was fast. That was pretty fast, actually. Yeah, you can see the spider jammed up all the way up. Um, trying to digest the food. Now that was fast. That was pretty fast. Yeah. Cool.